One of the most researched and pursued military technologies over the past decade has been the unmanned aerial vehicle, better known simply as a drone. Most people are familiar with the images of the Reaper or Predator drone armed with missiles that have been on the front lines of the war on terror, but drones have been a part of warfare for a long time. The first recorded use of drones in warfare was in 1849 when Austria launched 200 pilotless, bomb-carrying hot air balloons against Venice. The technology quickly grew during World War II with radio-controlled aircraft. The US Army Air Force built tens of thousands of drones, most of which were used as aerial targets like the OQ-2 and the PQ-14. Others included radio and television controlled aircraft armed with bombs like modified versions of the B-17 and the B-24. The Cold War saw the rise of the reconnaissance drones. UAVs like the Ryan Fire Bee flew several thousand missions over Vietnam, returning imagery of enemy locations. And today, we now have drones with many of the same capabilities as piloted aircraft, and some even more. Modern drones can loiter over a target for hours and return valuable intelligence. They can be armed with and fire guided missiles, and they can be just as stealthy as the most advanced stealth aircraft like the F-35. Also, a whole new generation of drones is being developed to take off and land on aircraft carriers. Technology has advanced rapidly during war, and UAVs are no exception. In the beginning of the War on Terror, the Predator drone was simply a reconnaissance platform in its infancy. In a few short years, dozens of armed Predators were conducting airstrikes on targets throughout the Middle East, and newer, more capable drones like the Reaper and the Global Hawk have been deployed and seen frontline service. Stealth drones have also been developed, like the X-47B and the RQ-170. Other nations have also invested in UAV research. China has been developing many different drones, like the Soar Dragon and the Sky Wing. The French company Dassault are working on a low-observable unmanned aircraft called the Neuron, the UK with the Tyrannus, and a wide variety of drones coming out of Iran. It is also worth noting that a lot of these aircraft are so-called flying wing designs, similar to the B-2. Drones have very few options in terms of countermeasures if they're attacked, so it appears that many manufacturers are favoring the more stealthy designs in order to increase survivability over hostile territory. While these drones offer a wide variety and capabilities at a much lower price, they also come with risk. Drones with stealth coding and advanced technologies can easily fall into enemy hands. During the Cold War, the supersonic D-21 drone went off course while over China and crashed in the Soviet Union. The Russians were able to recover the parts and utilize the advanced technology themselves. In 2011, a then top secret state-of-the-art UAV, the RQ-170, went missing over Iran. It was revealed that the Iranian Cyber Warfare Unit was able to bring down the aircraft and land it relatively intact. They were able to extract footage taken by the UAV and quickly worked to reverse engineer the craft and produce their own variant. Hacking is a major threat to modern drones. Since there is no pilot on board, the aircraft needs to send and receive signals in order to operate. These signals can be spoofed and manipulated by the enemy into doing things that it would not otherwise do. These larger UAVs are the ones that we are most familiar with, but there is a whole new category that is quickly growing. That is a smaller, much cheaper drone, commonly used by enthusiasts, which are being modified for military purposes. In 2004, Hezbollah first used these drones to conduct reconnaissance and to carry explosives over the border into neighboring Israel. Both sides in the Ukrainian civil war have utilized these drones to gather intelligence on enemy locations. And the US, Russia, China, and dozens of other countries quickly began developing these smaller drones to help their soldiers gain situational and battlefield awareness. The relatively low cost of these weapons, compared to expensive spy satellites and manned aircraft, has allowed smaller nations and even terrorist groups to develop capabilities once only afforded by superpowers. These drones have the potential to become a massive threat for the Defender. The fact that billions of dollars worth of the most advanced technology could possibly be at risk from a $200 drone packed full of explosives has become a fear for many nations. In early 2017, Saudi Arabia fired a $3 million U.S. Patriot surface-to-air missile at a $300 quadcopter operated by Iranian-backed rebels in Yemen. This illustrates the enormous cost disadvantage against the Defender. Any terrorist group could buy a few dozen of these cheap drones and potentially overwhelm even the most advanced missile defenses. There is still no good solution for defending against these drones. Most research on defense has been done on developing computer hacking techniques to take over the drone, designing short-range laser defenses to defend airbases and other high-value targets, 
and even guns which fire large nets to catch the drone, but these efforts have yet to produce any definitive results. Throughout the history of warfare, the advantage of the defender and the attacker has swung back and forth. First there was a sword, and then the shield, then the aircraft, and then the anti-aircraft missiles. Now the pendulum is beginning to swing back once more in favor of the attacker. The affordability, the flexibility, and the disposability of the unmanned aerial vehicle has the potential to negate even the most advanced defenses. Time will only tell what future advances will arise in the new era of warfare with UAVs.